In this video, we're going to be calculating and comparing simple interest and compound interest. So the first problem, we have Jessica deposits $40,000 into an account that pays simple interest at a rate of 2% per year. Tom deposits $40,000 into a, an account that also play, pays 2% 2, 2 interest per year, but it is compounded annually. Find the interest Jessica and Tom earn e during each year for the first three years and decide who earns more interest each year. Okay, so let's start with Jessica. Okay, so we'll use simple interest. Simple interest formula is I is equal to PRT. Okay, so this one is not compounded, right? So every year it's the same. So that means that every year the rate or the, the interest is going to be based on 40,000. Okay, so for the first year, you've got I is equal to $40,000 times our rate of 2%. Now, rate of 2% written as a decimal is 0 0.02. So times our rate, 0 0.02 times one, one year, because we're only doing year by year here. Okay, so that's going to be equal to $800. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is identical because it's not getting compounded. So it's also the same thing. Okay, you, the exact same thing because it's not getting compounded. This 800 isn't getting added to the stuff that's getting the interest rate. So it's also 800. And then the third year is also equal to 800. So that's for Jessica. Each year she gains 800 back. Okay, the difference between that and Tom is that Tom is going to get compounded, so the percent interest um, is is going to stay the same, but it's going to be based on a, a new amount each year. So the first year is going to be the same as Jessica. I I one is equal to forty thousand dollars times zero point zero two for one year. That's eight hundred. So that one's the same. But then we've got I uh, two second year. You add the eight hundred to the forty thousand, so you get forty thousand eight hundred times 0 0.02 times one year, okay? and that'll be $816. So the second year, 16 more dollars than Jessica earned for the, her second year. And then I3, you add this 816 here, okay? So that'll be 41,616 times 0 0.02 times one, and that will give you $832.32. Okay, so this is all in money. So Jessica earned 800, 800, 800. Each year it doesn't change because you're not adding this money to the pot that's getting getting some interest. Okay, but this one it compounded, so this money gets thrown into the pot, and then a new a new amount gets the interest rate of two percent. So it's going to be more each time because you're gaining money each time. Okay, so the first year they were the same, second year and third year Tom made more money. All right, so let's look at the next one, Linda. Deposits ten thousand to an account that pays simple interest rate at three percent per year. Bob deposits ten thousand into an account that also pays three percent interest per year, but it's compounded annually. So this is very similar to the other problem. Okay, so for Linda, you've got I is equal to ten thousand times our rate. Three percent as a rate is equal to zero point zero three. Okay, so zero point zero three times one year, that's I1, okay? So that's going to be 300. Since Linda's account is not getting compounded, then it's going to remain each year the same because this new 300 isn't, nothing's happening to it. It doesn't go on top of the 10,000. It just stays at 10,000. So each one of these years is going to be the same. Okay, so just like last time, this one, is equal to 300. They're all three equal to 300. Now, Bob, Bob, com, his, his account uh, is compounded annually, so we're going to add that amount each year. So it's still 10,000, but the first one's still the same. The, the amount times the rate times one year is equal to 300. But the second year, it'll be 10,300 that gets compounded or gets the interest rate. Okay, and that amount turns into $309, okay? And then you add that in, so you get $10,609 times 
times uh, the interest rate of 3% times one year, and that'll give you $318.27, okay? So Linda, it was just compounded simply, or it wasn't compounded at all. It was just a simple interest rate. 10,000 gets an interest rate of 3% each year, so she gains $300 each year. But Bob, since it's compounded, that stuff gets added in. So each one of these grows a little more because there's a little more money each time that's getting that interest rate. 